Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Naruto Mod Pack Survival Thingy with me, and only me, because I'm on my own again. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done that, since I've just been able to say that little bit of intro, and just been able to say, oh yeah, I'm on my own again. Because I've actually been with people the last few episodes, which has been fun. Now, last episode I was with, last episode I was with Pat, the Kikage, which is what we now are calling him, and... At the very end there, the computers, both of our computers and games started breaking down a bit as we basically froze and basically couldn't move and stuff. Um, then Enmo pointed out to me that maybe you should try dedicating more RAM to your Minecraft. Now, I actually have done this before, but I forgot I did it back when I played Bleach. And I'm using a different profile since then, like, it's the same character. It's just when you open Forge and stuff, you create a brand new profile, you can have multiple profiles. So you can have one for playing 1.7 Minecraft, one for playing 1.8, one for playing 1.6 like this. When I did this one, I left it so it was just the minimum um, RAM. I've changed that now and it seems to be a lot easier. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that, that was good. Now I've actually arrived here and even though I've now got a mailbox down there thanks to Sizzle, the Kukakage, um, yeah, this is still here. Oh, what is the point in that letter box? Now anyway, let's check this out. So, what we got here? There has been a third party all along. One that has been watching everyone on both sides very carefully. I prefer not to give up my name at this point in time. So you can just call me The Noise. If you wish to know a bit more about what exactly my ideals are, you can go over to X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I am neither your ally nor your enemy, but I have allied a certain side for now. I'm I'm allied with no one, okay, so on that mark it must be either Pikachu or Zaramaru. Um <laughs> cause that Oh that being said oh no it wouldn't be Pat. No, Pat's Pat's been very keen on allying with me since the start because I've actually you know been his friend on the server and not like just murdered him for no reason. I've actually like helped him and stuff. Um Zaramar and Pikachu I haven't gotten too much to do with, but I believe I have accidentally killed Zaramar on a couple of occasions when showing off jutsus. Oh yeah, I turned around. What? What? Why have I got books here? These aren't mine, by the way. Empty, okay. Um, someone create a spare? What's this? I like... Oh god, that's Pikachu's thing. Got several of them. Guess someone put that there. What was that? <clears throat> Wood still leaf decay. I guess that was Henry. Oh god, I forget where everything is sometimes. Alright, well guys, well welcome back to the world of Naruto. And I, I probably should go get that book actually, because I need the coordinates off it. So I guess we're going to go see what that is in a little bit. Um, yep, there we are. So this person, the noise, is a third party. But they have allied with someone, which makes no sense. Oh yeah, this happened. We'll, we'll get back to more on that in a second. So, um... Rebuild your alter ginger, Zam. I don't know who Zam is. I mean, I've never... There's no Zam on server. It's something it's Zaramar. Um, show in your video for fun. Break this sign before recording. Now, you see, I did see this before, but I didn't trust to break that sign before recording because I thought something might happen. It's in here. Oh, crap. Ugh. Oh. oh, asshole. Um... Okay, so that blew up, it blew up one of my things, um, so that was Zaramaru, um, <clears throat> the guy that's supposed to be allied with me, um, yeah, so he, he's just broke one of my essence refiners, one of these tiles is already broke, um, yeah, did he break anything else, this, this stuff's okay, I think, yeah, it's okay, alright, Asshole! Well, you know what? It's a good thing I was going to go visit his village anyway. Um, yeah. I feel like I should leave a big, big crater in the middle, but unfortunately I have, I've got extreme paranoia when it comes to these types of things, because I don't know if it was actually him. Even though it says Zar, or it was from Zam, aka Zarmaru, because I haven't physically seen him put that there, or haven't seen a video evidence, I have no proof saying it was him. So it could be someone trying to set him up. Because <laughs> people are assholes who do stuff like that. At least I think they are. I don't know. If they're good ninjas, they would be. Oh, I didn't... Ah, ah. Get off there. All right, I'm going to grab this stuff. Then I'm going to head to the village hidden lava. Because Zara actually told me to go visit it. Because apparently he's done some more stuff since then. Um, Yep, got all that. 
Right, let's head in here and see what's what in the nether. Right, moonwalk. I believe it was over here. Yeah, there. Yeah, I've got it marked. That's good. That's good. Right, that's the portal to Pat's. Why did it mean Pat moonwalk the the buggery hell is he done? Someone's been using their creative mode. Well, his wall's not as big as mine, but since he obviously used creative mode to make it, <laughs> um, he's made a fancier wall. That his village is smaller. Oh yeah, he's definitely been using creative. Definitely. He actually has got a nice village now. Wow, he's actually using the... Because the ground's all red now, it's so different. It actually looks quite good with these different things. Like if you were to put houses like this in the overworld, they wouldn't look nearly as nice. But because you've got the red floor with it, this actually works really well. House of Yogan Kage. Zaramaro. Uh oh. I don't know why I'm expecting TNT everywhere now. Oh, Pigman. Um, so he's got windows. He's got spikes in the wall. He's got some bushes because everyone's got some of these. Uh, message board. Leave your messages here. Just put your book in one of the item frames. I think I know what I must do. There we are. This is a good way to empty the junk out of my inventory. Um... Because I can't be bothered putting it anywhere else. Yep, he's been a busy sausage. Um, I keep saying he's done it in creative mode. I'm guessing the wall was at least done in creative. I don't know about the rest because he has been on the server quite a lot with his friend. It's the wall I say creative because Zara flies around in creative quite regularly. Like, he came around to my village because he didn't have a rooster talisman. And he seems to think everyone else is flying using some kind of cheat method or something. He, he came flying around my village in creative and I was just sitting there thinking, Dude, come on. There's like, there's stuff we're not meant to be doing. And... Being a creative mode regularly is one of them. You're supposed to go in that mode for little reasons that require creative mode or fix if something happens, like if an error happens. You're supposed to be doing it for your leisure, son of a bitch. But yeah, either way. Rasengan. Why are you not dying? Rasengan. The hell? Ah, oh, must be an NPC. Is it? Okay, slight correction. I didn't crash, so to say. Uh, my my um, internet just dropped, which, you know, be expecting that quite a bit in the, like, the next few episodes, probably. Because. Oi! A sing gun. Um, because, yeah, my internet has been absolute crap the last couple of days. I don't know what happened. It just. It was working fine one day, then suddenly it just kept dropping. It just keeps doing it, and every single day, just randomly now, it just drops. And my internet's running at about a third of its normal speed, so connecting the servers is a bit worse, and live streaming is completely out the window. I cannot live stream currently because my internet wasn't that great as it was for live streaming because my upload speed is pants, and now it's at a third of that. So it's like, ah, it, it'd be completely impossible. It'd just be dropping continuously, it'd be laggier than it already is. It'd be horrible. It'd be pointless. Um. So I forget what I was talking about. I think I was... First of all, I know that the village does look really nice. So the village hidden lava, you know, thumbs up. It's definitely one of the better looking villages we've seen so far, even though there's not a lot in the village because it's quite small. Um, because of its size and it's being so small, it's able to get, make this fabulous looking wall, which... You know, I'm, t I'm, I'm guessing a copy taking the wall idea for me. Okay, so more than likely just about every cut in this video is going to be when my internet drops because it is just rapidly dropping and... It's really starting to bug me, but oh well, I'm just going to have to live with it for the now. Ugh. I, don't, I don't enjoy my internet dropping every two minutes, but apparently it's what I've got to live with now because the last... It's not even been a full week, it's just... When was it? It was middle of last week. It just started. Out of the blue, just suddenly internet drops. And I'm just like, oh god. And I look at my spade, it's went way down and... It's just been, it's it's just, it's continued from there. I thought maybe it'd fix itself, like maybe it's just an off day. Maybe the internet, it's been bad connection that day. I mean, I, I can't remember what the weather was like. I thought maybe the weather, maybe the companies, whatever. Nope, it's just bloody useless. Yeah. Anyway. Right, so as long as I'm on the server, I'm just going to keep progressing bit by bit. And get through this frustrating time. And you are all here to support me for it. <laughs> and by support me, I mean you are here to watch me suffer. My god. Ooh, another little bit of news. I built this little thing here, just something to offer my sacrifice to Lord Jashin in a better place. I mean, obviously, the temple itself still isn't fully built. 
mostly because getting the obsidian's a real pain in the ass now that the stuff in the end has dropped, or I took it all. So, yeah, yeah, working progress might get finished eventually. <laughs> Other than that, I had to get rid of a few of the experiments for sakes of the server. Um, only the useless ones, mind you. I mean, wait, when did Rainbow go back? I thought I moved Rainbow into that tub. Okay, whatever. Ooh, speaking of um, NPCs. Ah! Who the fuck are you? What? Get out of here. The bloody hell was that? Alright, well, someone's been here lately. Um. Oh god, it respawns. Whatever. I can take care of that another day. Um. That's right. And the village hidden the black lake, they're tail beast. When I sent in between worlds to send over here to fight Rainbow, um, it apparently stayed in between worlds. Apparently, it didn't successfully travel over here. <laughs> so I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. Which is marvellous, I guess, because it means I've found a way to successfully murder um, other NPCs. So there we go. I may not be able to physically kill you. But I can teleport you into a place worse than death. The world between. I swear I'm going to fucking kick whoever's ass did this. My god, just look! Who would do this in an area with chests and stuff next to valuable things? Why? Why would you risk this? I feel like my internet might be dropping again. I'm not sure. I think it has, because they're not moving. Crap. Oh no, wait. They are moving. I'm just retarded. Okay. He could have just made a freaking noise or move a bit before and I would have been paranoid. Whatever. Alright, let's have a look at this book and see what nerf this says. I'm pretty sure I had other things I was going to try and do the day, but, you know, it was just going to be bits and pieces. Probably not as interesting as what this is. So I'm sure this won't involve TNT at all. Right. So, for the coordinates for this, we need to go to X1598. It's X1600 minus 900, roughly. So that's... Okay, this is odd because I'm pretty sure this is in my village then. Why 69? Okay, why 69? There we are. So we're in this layer. Then we need to go to exactly 1598. So that's... Oh wait, 1598. Oh, it's 1600. Okay, that's well out of here. That's, that's a way down here. Okay. Alright, it is outside my village then. Okay. Um, Time to moonwalk. Alrighty, let's try this again. Oh god, it, I don't know what's going on with my internet, it's been like literally all morning, it's been fine. You know, I've been on YouTube watching videos and stuff, I was watching a bit of Bleach, getting back into it, watching the Iran car, kind of parts, you know, enjoying myself, all been fine. Then I come on to record a little bit and then suddenly everything just goes to hell. Alright, so what was the coordinates again? Um, 1598, so that's over here. Nope, this way. Then a bit more, do this. Right, fifteen ninety eight. And what was the other one? It was eight hundred and ninety three, which is this way. It's over this hill basically. That doesn't look like an obvious thing. Is it me you're looking for? Not really, but you know, I've ended up here. The monkey, the overseer, the firebrand, the noise, the ungrateful, the robot, the silent, the recognized, the coordinator, the reluctant, the invincible. These are the chess pieces that shall be factored in for what? Be factored in for the upcoming war. I am the noise. As I've started before, I am the third party in this war and I am. And I have eyes in a lot of places. Connections to both sides. It sounds like Zara and Pika. Um, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a book at this spot and I will try and answer it to the best of my ability. My only goal is to see what ha to see this war happen. Um, I couldn't care less which side wins. Either way, this should be interesting. Why is there 11? I don't quite understand that, but whatever. Alright, well, let's leave that here for now. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting that, so it that was the noise. <sighs> I don't know how they feel about that, but, you know, it's obvious it's certain people, it's just which one. Because I don't actually know. Because all of them spend so much time on the server. I mean, I could be wrong, it might not be any of them. Oh yeah, there's still Titans around here, isn't there? 
Ha! Rasengan. Oh, crap. Can I? Stupid Titan doesn't stand a chance. I didn't think there was any more round there, though. Or does that one respawn? If that was the case, it would explain why that one's still there when all the rest are dead, because I'm sure I killed them all with Karen. Absolutely, I love these boots of a traveler. They are amazing for running around. Every time my game lags asleep, but I do question whether my internet's just dropped. <laughs> oh, it's bound to happen again. Guaranteed. Right, I feel like these boots of the traveler are increasing the speed I can move at while moonwalking. I feel like having better footwear is definitely a good thing. Right, now you might wonder why you're down here. Um, back in Sane Guy's place. Well, one, I think it was Sane Guy that blew up my thing up there. So I don't really care if I invade his privacy now. Um, two, because he's got some of these bushes and I like taking them. And three, because he's got this thing. Which, at this point I could probably make one. But I just refused to because there's one right here. I just wanted to see if there's any way I could enchant these any higher. But I don't think... I don't think I'm at a high enough level yet. See, I don't know what level it is you unlock each layer. I know I've got the first layer for a bunch of these things for a couple little boosts. The magic circle I've got like up to the third layer, but I'm not going to the fourth. I don't know how many levels you've got to get on the armor in order to unlock that ability. Or those abilities. Because, you know, they're not huge boosts. Like, and one of them for the boots is like a speed boost that I find really irritating. And I'm not going to be taking this time. But, you know, they are handy for just little extra things. Like, I'm pretty sure one of them gives you boosts when you're walking underwater and stuff. Now, there's actually something really nice I wanted to do. Now, people, first of all, have been saying I should get this sword here. The blah, blah, whatever it is called. Now, I, I sort of agree with that. I would quite like to get that sword. Because, let's face it, everyone's probably going to jump for the other one. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. Plus, it'd be using this kunai all the time. And it would give my armor. That, that being said, though... You know, I was in this armor in my thumbnail that I've been using since episode 1, by the way. <laughs> and was on the other server before I restarted. I just never made another one because it's what everyone recognizes as my thumbnail now. When you see that, you just know it's my Naruto. You know, it's... that If I put another thumbnail on it, it'd probably confuse some people. Um, if they didn't... Like, I'm guessing some of you probably just click on the video without actually reading it at this point. Because you see it and you just know that it's my Naruto episodes. You know, that would be the hardcore fans. Um... How many times do I have? I don't think I've even got a stack. I might not even have a stack of diamonds anymore. I might have to go mining for some. Got one in here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to keep these on me because they're handy. I have got 59 diamonds. That is not enough for the thing. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to actually go mining for once like, and forever. Nah, but before we do that, um, MK, I would like a pair of your boots of the Traveler, please. Why, you may ask? Quite simply because I'm going to give them as a gift to Pat, because Pat didn't have any diamonds. He doesn't spend that long on the survey, he mostly comes on to record because he is a busy fellow, because he has multiple roleplay series that he has to attend to, like his Dragon Block C one that's insanely popular, and his new Fairy Tale one, which is pretty good as well. It's pretty sure, I don't know if it's as popular is the Dragon Block C one. I don't know if it's more popular. I can't remember because I don't just sit there and compare the views very often. I just notice that Dragon Block C is really popular. Um, so yeah, he comes on and he records about Naruto. But because Naruto's something so simple, he doesn't have to spend ages setting up roleplay for it. He just comes on and, you know, he decides what he's going to do, records his episodes. That's him done. You know, Aomi does little bits of setup when he has something he needs to do for the episode. Like when he set up his thing inside his little um, ramen... Uh, I don't even know, I can't call it a ramen shack, because it's not a shack, it's an underground secret base for ramen that you're not allowed to go to. Um, but yeah, he's got one of them set up, and obviously he did that off camera, so, you know, he does come on and he does stuff, just he doesn't have to do as much. So, since he doesn't seem to have the diamonds because he used them all, I thought, well, I'll just give him a pair. Because, you know, that means our Harkagi outfits are somewhat similar, apart from his hidden tree headband, which, by the way, the hidden tree headband... <laughs> It's got the new Olivencraft symbol on it and everything. And Pat's running around wearing it for his village. It's... <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful situation to watch. Um, I feel bad for Pat, though, 311 never gets a hold of him. Um, but, yeah, before I give Pat the boost, I'm going to give them a slight enchant boost. I'm going to give them um, two levels. Can I give three? I can give three levels of haste. Okay. I'm just going to give them a little boost. No, not projectile protection. I feel like I should put fire protection on them. 
just because it's Pat, just because he gets set on, he fights against fire and stuff. I feel like that's a brilliant thing to give him. Hold on, let's get the rest of these out and get, give him some more. There are fire protection, four boots, give him some feather falling as well. Oh wow, it only costs four levels. This is insanely cheap. There we are. Pair of fire protection, four, feather falling, four, magic resistance, haste and repair. Um, boots of the traveller. And... Oh crap, I can't name them now, they'll be too expensive. Ah! I should have thought about that first. Oh well, what are you going to do? I could go creative mode and do it, but that'd be sort of against the whole don't go creative mode for general little things that I just stated a little while ago. Alright, well, at this point I now feel like my Jutsu Maker needs to get moved somewhere else because this spot in the hill clearly just isn't safe anymore. So if I'm going to rebuild it, I feel like I'll need to rebuild it somewhere else. Which might give me an excuse to actually finish one of these buildings to make it in. Um, yeah, so I think I'll keep this on me for the now. And I will... I'll fix this probably off camera and decide where it's going to go next. Before we do that though, I need to go get a case and a sign and go give Pat the little gift. Let's see if we can figure out who did it. That always can all tell him. Because, you know, he'll do an episode, he'll find them, and he'll be like, oh, someone's gave me a gift. And he'll be paranoid thinking someone might have blew something up or something. I don't know. But, you know, he'll, he'll see it, and he'll be like, oh, he's gave me a wee gift. And then, he's going to tell him who did it. I'm not going to say it's who, who it's from, I'm just going to give him a gift. Oh, yeah, I don't have to run there anymore. I can just flicker through the floor here. Oh, yep, there we are. I can steal all these again, because that's what I always do. Um, there we are. Then I can just jump through Nether and jump through his portal, which is only like 300 blocks away, which with moonwalks insanely easy. It does beg the question, why did me and Pat not just moonwalk there? Because me and Pat can moon... Oh yeah, that's right, our games were freaking out, that's why. Oh god, next time Vex is on, I need to teach him one of the... I don't know, I want to focus... With Vex, I want to focus on each element sort of individually, to give him kind of an idea of what to expect from each element. So I don't know whether to teach him like the moonwalk and stuff next and teach him some wind style or whether to teach him like lightning style or earth style or something, I don't know. You guys can decide. For Vex, what should I teach him next? Do you think I should teach him? Oh god, this is war. What do I mean war? It's intoxic- Oh, that is not safe, Pat. That is not safe at all. Oh god, no. Brick! God. Pat, are you trying to blow your thing up? Jesus Christ, you cannot leave things in there. That will blow them up. Okay, that's, that was quite horrible being in that war. Why is that? Why has it got that there? Jesus, it's more demented than what I do. Although I'm probably going to take some of that water back to Jashin's temple, but that's beside the point. Um, that's right, Pad doesn't have any doors, does he? Alright, well. Book and Quill. Even your secrets aren't secret if someone else does right amount of snooping. I feel bad for Pat. Um, anyway. Well, now that the bloody... That chest is down below, I need to leave him it. That's a trap chest as well. Where is it? No, it's not. It'd be red inside if it was. Um, Alright, there you go. That's his boots ready. Um, yeah, because of that chest, that is a trap chest. Nothing that didn't blow up. That's a good thing that didn't blow up. I could have. Well, I suppose it'd be hard to put TNT under it. But Jesus Christ, if I'd opened that and it just been TNT or something, that could have ended really badly. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna leave him a sign saying it's from me, but because just simply because he has got that other chest there, I don't want him to think that other chest is might be from me or it's from the same person. Um, I want him to know that what that chest below is isn't from me. And that the chest above is from me, or I want them to figure it out. I don't want them to think both of them are me. Because that's... no. I don't do snooping around his place. I don't need to. I can watch his videos to find out that stuff. <laughs> or I can just talk to him and he'll take me there because, you know, being allies in that, we don't really need big secrets to each other. I mean, I took him into my lab. I showed him Little Pat. Little Pat's never seen a mirror. He doesn't know it's him. I don't know if you can see the reflection on the glass. I don't think it'll affect him too mentally seeing his other self as an adult. Now, if these trees could bring up some diamonds, that would be great. That would be really great. I don't know why I'm snooping around these things. I just, after saying I'm not snooping, no, I'm not snooping, I'm just casually walking 
and I was seeing if there was anything valuable that I might like on there. Anyway, time to go back home. Flying Rajin. No, wait. I can't go back home with that. I need to use my demon eye. Return. Flying Rajin is set to another place. Another place in Didi. So I don't want to go there. Ah, yeah, so one of the final things of the day, before I forget, because I always forget these, the question of the day. So, last episode I asked what kind of variation of the Shidori might you like to have seen? Because, you know, we've seen the Shidori, we've seen the Shidori extended version. I can't remember if he used the black for it, like his Amaterasu flames around it as like a flame control sort of thing. I don't remember. I can't remember if Susano used it before, I'm not sure. I forget everything because I haven't watched Naruto in quite a bit. Or, you know, Naruto's been quite slow with all the filler, so I've been kind of forgetting the war because uh, of the filler taking its place. As, you know, everything is just filler in Naruto now it is. Um... But yeah, I would quite like an ice Shidori in a sense. Not like a case of like he's got ice around his hand when he stabs him. More of a case of say like there's a little bit of mist coming off his hand with the sparks and when he stabs the person through it, it starts freezing them from the inside out. That would have been quite awesome. I quite like that. Anyway, for the other question of the day, for the question of the day today, let's see. I actually did think about it this time. And since it's not, it could be Naruto related, but it's not directly Naruto related because it's about anime in general. Um, if you were given the choice, which world of anime would you like to join? So, like, you've got the Fairy Tale world, Dragon Ball Z world, Naruto world, the Attack on Titan world, Sword Art Online world. Which world would you like to join? And if you want to give me a reason why, you're free to. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll let you know what I think next episode as well. Because, you know, that's it's something all of us normally dream of. If we could escape reality and go to one of these worlds. But which one would you go? Given the option, say you had a number... Of doors in front of you for every anime. I know it'd be quite a lot. Um, which door would you choose? <laughs> Basically. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here because the internet thing's been driving up the wall. I mean, it hasn't happened for the last little while, so fingers crossed it's sorted itself out for the time being and when I do some more mini games later with people, hopefully it sticks, it stays so I don't like drop out mid-game because that'd be horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. So I'm going to leave the like, got 125 likes, which... Uh, Last episode, you didn't quite really smash it because it's like into the second day and it's still not reached it. So I don't know why that's the case if you just found that episode not very interesting or why you are getting a bit more bored of the series or something. I don't know, but, you know, it's one of those things. So hopefully you smash it this time because I know you can. I know that it's, they're still getting tons of views. Lots of people are still watching it. Lots of people are still coming. Just not as many people are hitting the like button. Which, you know, it's a worrying thing, but if it keeps happening, then I'll take action towards it and start considering the series and where it's going wrong. Um, but for the now, I'll leave it like 125. Let's see what happens. Other than that though, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.